That first game of the season was just the start of Marcus's reign as a top high school prospect. And that energy carried on to the next game where he showed his dominance even more than the first game. It's very seldom that high school games get televised, but because Marcus and Nathan were such big names in high school basketball, the attention that they were receiving was unmatched. Every game that Marcus and Nathan played in the high school gym would get sold out. Celebrities would show up, and after this game, where Marcus dropped 49, there was someone waiting for him after the game, and his name happened to be the Vertical James. Now, we all know and love Vert here on this channel, but to Marcus, he was a California legend. The James name reigned supreme in this universe and being visited by the GOAT was major to Marcus. But Vert wasn't there just to say what up. Uh, he was there on official business from UCLA. Now, Vert, the week before, had caught wind of Marcus from his brother, Lacrosse, who was starting an agency looking for young talent who wanted to go to the next level. Now, Lacrosse had shown Vert Marcus and Vert who was an official scout for UCLA, wanted to reach out to Marcus and offer him a scholarship to UCLA, but not only Marcus, Nathan as well. Vert knew having both of them at UCLA would make UCLA a top college and with immediate hopes of winning a college championship. But Vert couldn't speak for too long with them because he had to go catch a flight to Cleveland and visit his son Bayou James, who had just been named a captain in the All-Star game. So at this radius, Shaniqua Dale can do the Busset Challenge and the Big Bank Challenge at the same time because if we look at the parallelogram of that ass, <laughs> wait a minute, Marcus, Marcus! Oh. Boy, if you don't wake up in my oh. class, I'm teaching good. Oh, Marcus fell asleep. Oh. Shut up, Isaac. Damn. Oh, that. In oh. Jesus' name, I mean, I forgot. Oh, this, this is a Christian school. Hallelujah. That's on me, Jesus. That's on me. Why they these kids get on my goddamn nerves? It was around this point when Marcus realized that prolific prep was nothing like his school and lifestyle back home. Here at Napa, there was such a bigger demand from them. You know, not only was the academic demand very high, but Marcus was at the gym two to three times a day. Unlike at home, where there was practice at a certain time and then you went home for the rest of the day. Not only that, but playing for prolific prep meant traveling to different parts of the country to play some of the best high schools and Marcus definitely wasn't used to that. So that fatigue set in and honestly, he just wanted to have some fun. Not only him, but Nathan was feeling it too. So the squad decided after their next game, they were gonna break curfew and go to a local party being thrown by some friends at school. Question is, was Marcus planning on going? And that's where you guys come in. So does Marcus go to the party? or does he stay home and get caught up on schoolwork? Comment down below and remember every action has an opposite and equal reaction. See, senor, it's your boy YG. Brickin' God. <laughs> Just a man if you'd ask me back with some more. Mm, mm, mm. Say his name with me. Marcus Jones Jr. AKA. Damn, we ain't got no AKAs for Marcus just yet. But we are back here, and Marcus has a tough feat today, man. We got to go up against, I forget, what's, what's the name of their team? Money, mini Honey High. Mini Honey High. <laughs> Man and honey with my boy Chet and uh uh Master P son. Damn, we're gonna find out in a second. But think about Chet. The reason that this game is so important is because Chet is goddamn seven foot forever. As you can see, man, that boy Chet home green. I think he's the number one. I think he's the number one senior in the class. Like, this is crazy. Seven foot, 190 pounds. I'm sure he's a little bit lower than that, but he is an 85 overall. And you got Prince out. I'm not even gonna mess that up. Hersey. My guy, Hersey, what's good? 73 overall, Donovan Smith, and the list goes on. But really, this is going to be tough because technically Marcus is a slasher. So, <sighs> Chet being in the way, bro, seven foot. Uh, there are some things we have discovered about seven foots. So I'll just say that. Here recently, we just know seven footers, you really can't dunk on them. You can't lay the ball up around them. Like, it's going to be a block. It's going to be a contest. So, honestly, 
I, one of our one of Marcus's goals is definitely to dunk on Chet. He's a two-way stretch five, bro. <sighs> Dunking on him might be damn near impossible. Let's see what his badges are like defensively. Oh my God. Hall of Fame rim protector, hot stopper, pogo stick, chase down. Oh my God. This dude is a defensive juggernaut and we gonna try him, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. We gonna try him. Marcus got something to prove today, chat. We gonna try Chet out today. The number one senior. Oh my God. Chet Holmgren, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> But without further to do, let's go ahead and get into today's game, Poppy. Get it. Oh, let's keep it real. <laughs> Mini ha ha. Let's go get into it, baby. I'm excited. Okay. I see you, Hersey. What's good, Hurst? Sing it with me, chat. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, get it, get it. Hey, we got it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Slightly late, but we still in there. Let's go, boy. Hey, get off me. Get off me. Oh, Marcus. Wait a minute. Tell me something, brother. Come on, Nate. Ah, oh, they made me do all that. Oh, they made me do Marcus. Block that. Oh, okay, Hersey. All right, Hersey, make your daddy proud then. Say that. Wow. The disrespect. Wow. Wow. Ah, good dump down. Hey, let's go, Nate. See that? Oh, oh yeah. Chat in the right position. Hey! I don't know, Chat. Look like a body to me. He jumped a little early, but all right. We looked in that man's eyes. We wanted all that. We wanted it all, Chat. Oh my God. Mark is real different, Chat. We want all the smoke. You hear me? Seven foot or eight foot or nine. We want it all. Okay. Hey. I'm, hey, I'm real, I'm real civilized, but it will get out of hand real quick. We coming right at him. Air one. <laughs> Air one. It's too easy. We won't chat. What? They switched chat on me? Perfect. Uh, perfect. Wow. Perfect. Broke him. Hey, it's perfect. Put the number one on Marcus. We got to take him down. Come on, Nate. Run with me. Run with me, Nate. Oh, they hate you. Oh, damn. Nate going to the lead. <laughs> okay, Chet. Damn. Hey, hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. <laughs> He's cheating. Yeah. Oh, Nate in a post with it. Hey, I swear to God, Nate. Nate going to another level. I want the lob. I want the lob. Hey. <laughs> I've been called for it. Damn. I got to take it. Slightly early, but I'll take it. I'm the best. No way. Damn, Hersey. Okay, I like that. Ah, oh, you should have pulled that. Damn, Nate. Damn, Nate. <laughs> All right, Chat cheating again, Chat. Look at him cheating again. No way. Well, oh my gosh. There is no way he should be seven foot like that, bro. Chat. I got a block if you need it. Never mind. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna file. All right. Big screen. Go ahead. Hey, that's a good shot. That's a good shot, Nate. Damn. Yeah. Box them up. Oh my Jesus. What? <laughs> I got something for you, Jordan. Oh. 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 <laughs> Jordan, get me right back. I like that. Go ahead. I'll pull. Hey. I pull. Hey, I will shoot that jumper. Come on now. Damn, Chet. Damn. He felt that. All right. Move. Move. <laughs> I got to get my Kobe on. Move. Excuse me, little man. Excuse me, little man. Hey. Excuse me. I'm coming for that number one spot, Chet. Oh, my mama. Clear it out. Yeah, this is who I want. Oh, he giving me the left? Like, Chet, I really would... Chet, I really will go left just to come back right. I really will do that, Chet. <laughs> come on. Come on. I see you, Jordan. I see you, Jordan Pope. I see you, Jordan Stroke. Come on. Go ahead, Nate. Show the scout some, Nate. Show the scout some, Nate. It's just a bad night. 
It's just a bad night to be Chad Home Green. That's a, that's a little one, Nate. He little, Nate. Come on now. Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. I ain't trying to scold, brother. I swear to God, I'm trying to get a new blade, new blade. Damn. Damn. Chad. Like that. Yes, sir. GG to Chet and the whole mini ha-ha team. Shout out to Hersey, bro. Hersey really did his thing in this game, bro. I cannot hold y'all. But another victory. My man Marcus really had to go off this game just to prove to ESPN that Marcus deserves to be in that number one spot, bro. I don't know about y'all, but Marcus really showed up tonight against mini ha-ha, the number one center in high school basketball. Chet Holmgren, seven foot up. Y'all see the highlights, man. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up subscribe turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more nba 2k content just like this and i got you guys but until the next one man peace son but to also let him know about a kid back home that was in all the headlines and was quickly becoming one of the best high schoolers to come out of california and that bayou's high school record for most points scored in a game was about to be taken by this new kid bayou was excited to hear about this new kid you know they called him mj his